Mr. John Gretrix. Thank you, Amy, and uh, welcome. Uh, a couple a few months ago, I did uh, cautionary uh, nursery rhyme number one. Uh, this is cautionary nursery rhyme number two. Uh, you may know <coughs> some of the words, so by all means, uh, join in. <coughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, had a great fall, but all the king's horses and all the kings couldn't put Humpty together, and boy did they try real hard. But sellotape just wouldn't stick. Shell grafting made the crack up worse. And when they drew his attention to the other eggs still sitting pretty on the wall, Humpty reckoned he was in such a mess he couldn't do anything about it. Poor old me. I am in a bad way. I wonder who can help me now. I'll wait and see. And do you know what happened? No one now he reckoned sooner or later one of two things would happen. A flying egg cup would land and get him back into shape, or the old chicken who had laid him would take him back into the nest. Well, the egg cup didn't come, and not even his mum could scoop him up because although she was real good at laying eggs, even she had her limits when it came to stuffing yolks back into broken shells. He was a hopeless case, splat at the bottom of a wall, exposed and rather raw. Finally, it was agreed by the horses and the men, the only practical thing to do, however unpleasant, would be to scrape up his remains and slop him into a frying pan. We can't leave him there, he's a hazard to pedestrians. He sets a bad example to the kids. He's starting to pong. Next day, along came the execution squad. Humpty opened his eyes just enough to see a group of them preparing a big fire. What a nice idea, he thought. It's getting a bit cold. How thoughtful they are. Just then, one of the executioners had an idea and walked quickly up to him and said, This is your last chance, hump babe. And do you know what happened? Humpty Dumpty took one long look in the big black pan, grew a brand new shell and ran, ran, ran. <laughs> Isn't it consoling when fairy tales have happy endings? <laughs> Um, the verdict. The judge walked in and the court stood up. No one dared to speak. The judge sat down, looked at the dock, turned to his left to look at the clock, turned to his right to stare at the clerk, who turned quite pale as his lordship spoke. If this is a joke, it's in poor taste. I assure you, my lord, it's not. It, it, it Maybe he couldn't come today. Perhaps, perhaps he just forgot. Well, I've had enough of waiting. The trial will commence. Does the prosecution wish to speak? There's surely no defence. Indeed we do. Our case is such that no one can resist. His failure to appear today proves that he can't exist. The defence admits it isn't so. Our argument will clearly show that doubt of the most profoundest kind should be retained in the jury's mind. Our client possesses extensive powers one should not, should not compare
compare to ours, he resembles us in some respects and suffers from some of our worst defects like being unpunctual at times and promising things that he's yet to do, but these are merely human faults common to me and you. It is our belief, and it must be stated, our client's been clearly underrated by you all. Just because he doesn't appear by no means proves that he isn't here. The fact of the matter is, my lord, this is a special case, and whether he's here or not, affects the whole of the human race. The fact of the matter is, my lord, the prosecutor said they haven't a single fact to prove their client isn't dead. The fact of the matter, the judge addressed the 12 men good and true, is now we've heard the rival claims, the choice is up to you. I wish you luck in your thankless task. You won't be long, no doubt. But he's had to wait 2,000 years and the jury is still out. <laughs> it's Easter time, and so that was why that fact we have eggs at Easter, and so that was the Humpty Dumpty, excuse me, the Humpty Dumpty, and this is a sort of uh, when winter comes can spring be far behind. Um, <coughs> it commonly could be called either the Green Man, uh, Resurgam, or Easter Rising, or whatever. I shall come again at Easter wearing robes of green. Rise again at Easter, and my glory shall be seen. Did you think I died like an autumn leaf falling from the sky? Believe me when I tell you that I did not, could not die. All you saw was the lifeless husk, a skin that needed shedding, some yellow-brown confetti thrown to celebrate the wedding of aging summer and his winter bride. I am with you always. Only your faith has died. Look for me at Easter with the snow and the ice have gone. Seek and you will find me here where I belong. Thank you, John Thank you.